This is Pony Prepper Bill, and today I want to talk about common sense, the media, the news, and what they tell you. Open your eyes. I'll be right back. All right, this is Pony Prepper Bill, and I made a video on this yesterday, or I started it, but I don't know if I act the video I made yesterday kind of got a little long, longer than I wanted it to. So I think I edited this part out, and the camera it was getting dark and it looked funky anyway. But what I wanted to talk about was common sense and believing everything, mainstream media and the news and all that stuff. Turn it all off, go outside and look for yourself, and use your brain. Somebody told me the other day that this past summer was the worst summer in New Jersey in recorded history. It was the hottest summer in recorded history. As far as I remember, this past summer we had no heat wave whatsoever. I don't even think it reached 100 degrees ever. Just a couple years ago, I worked on a farm in Vineland, not far from here. And for three years in a row, we had heat waves constantly. It was like 98, 100 degrees, 110 index for three or four days straight. And then it would stop for two or three days. You'd have a couple cooler days. And then it got hot as hell again, constantly. And we were in equipment that was enclosed. The air conditioners didn't work. And... I remember just going to work. As soon as I got to work at 7 in the morning, it was god-awfully hot. And this summer was one of the mildest we've had in the last couple of years. But people are telling me, oh no, it's on the news, look it up. You know, it, it was the hottest summer in recorded history. Well, what do you think? You're telling me this. Do you remember this being the hottest summer? Were you sweating your ass off? We didn't have the, we had the air conditioning on, but not like we used to. I don't, and then they were talking about this was like the worst winter, and 2020 was the worst winter in New Jersey. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't at all. People, turn your equipment off, look outside, and just because they tell you something, think about it. Like, does that make any sense? Now, I might have misinterpreted this, or I might have read it wrong. I didn't read the whole article. But it was something about New Jersey losing trees, trees falling over because of the sea levels are rising, and the trees are soaking up salt water. So I could be wrong on that. So, but that's what I got out of the headline in the first two or three things, the first two or three sentences. Now, if that was the case, all our well water would be contaminated with salt water. So that makes no sense. We've had a lot of rainfall. These trees are falling from everything from what's coming from the skies in these fake clouds, this geoengineering clouds are killing the trees and everything else and getting into the rainwater, but it's not salt water. So turn your phones off, turn the news off, and when you hear stuff like this, use your brain and say, it wasn't that hot, it wasn't that cold, they're full of shit. And if common sense was, had a role in anything, if common sense could play a role, everything that's going on with this pandemic, it's people are dying. Half a million people have died from this, and you, everybody needs to get vaccinated. We're going to lock things down. Now we're going to open things up, and we're going to spray the skies. We're going to give vaccines, and the vaccines don't help you. They don't help you spread it not spread it, catch it, not spread it, they don't help you from dying. And you got to wear a mask everywhere. Okay. Maybe Bill Gates should come up with this idea, or maybe should somebody should tell Bill Gates, because if Bill Gates says it, we'll do it. Why don't we just do a major lockdown? You could do, since this is worldwide, worldwide pandemic, it's everywhere. Why don't we just do a lockdown for 30 days? everywhere 
everybody's getting this this virus and they're spreading it and it needs like a 14 day incubation period and that's 28 days make it 30 days complete lockdown close every store every wawa every everything you don't go to work people are losing their houses they're losing their jobs people are getting homeless businesses are shutting down and aren't coming back well why don't we do something we're opening up, we're closing, we're opening up, we're closing. This is going to get worse, and this is spreading, and the vaccines aren't going to help anything, but you got to get it. Why don't we just close everything down? Say, the 5th of next month, we're closing everything down for 30 days. So stock up on baby food, stock up on toilet paper, which everybody should have toilet paper by now, right? Stock up on canned food. For 30 days, you're not going out. I don't care if it's martial law, I don't care if the cops, if you're caught outside, you get arrested, you get quarantined, you go to jail for 30 days. You go to these closed high schools, put everybody in the high school. If you get caught outside for any reason for the, within these 30 days, you get locked up and you're quarantined. After 30 days, you're released and you go home. So if the incubation period and how it gets worse, let's just stop it once and for all. The whole world closed for 30 days. And all this will be over when we go back to normal. But that's common sense. No, let's do this, let's do that, let's cope, open, let's close, let's vaccine, let's... Uh... Common sense. Just, if nobody goes anywhere and nobody can spread it, the virus will die. End of that, period. So that's all I wanted to talk about, common sense, people talking about it's the worst winter, the worst summer, not since I've been alive, recorded history. Who's writing this? Somebody that was born three years ago? Pay attention. Open your eyes. People, oh, I don't believe in chemtrails. So I don't believe in geoengineering. All you got to do is turn your phone off and look away from your, your gaming and go outside. Look away from your GPS for 20 minutes. Look at the sky. I came outside this morning before we went to the dump. Uh, yeah, we got to take our trash to the dump. It was the darkest blue sky. It was gorgeous. And then you saw one or two chemtrails here and there. And little by little, it's just a gray-ass, shitty sky. It looks like chocolate milk up there. Ugh. Well, that's the Pony Prepper Bill. That's what I got for now. I just wanted to get it off my mind or off my chest. And uh, that's what I got for now. I'll talk to you later.